Hi guys, we're going to be looking at an anaerobic pathway of respiration, a way to make ATP without the use of oxygen, and that's fermentation. So fermentation says no oxygen, no mitochondria, no problem. So what is fermentation? It does not require oxygen. It's an anaerobic process that doesn't require oxygen, doesn't require the mitochondria, but still produces ATP for the cell. It only makes two ATP per glucose molecule, so it's very inefficient because typically we'd like to see 36 to 38 when we go into the mitochondria. But if that's all you're gonna get, we'll take it. In terms of what is fermentation, it includes glycolysis, that first step of cellular respiration, and then it's going to be followed by a process that recycles the NADH back into NAD positive so that glycolysis can continue. Because remember, glycolysis is creating electrons that are going to be captured by NAD positive. That's our electron carrier. So we need to continue <coughs> continually recycle those NAD positive so glycolysis can continue. So we'll do glycolysis. We do some type of process after that, and that's going to allow the NAD plus to go back to glycolysis. So let's take a look at the two different types. They are lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation. In lactic acid fermentation, it allows glycolysis to continue by producing lactic acid after glycolysis happens. So it takes that pyruvic acid and it breaks it into lactic acid. Now this allows that NADH to be recycled back into NAD positive, which is going to allow glycolysis to continue to give us two ATP. But that lactic acid, this is going to this is why you might get sore or feel that burning sensation when you're running or doing a, a exercise because that lactic acid is building up in your muscles. So this is inefficient and it also really can only go for a short period of time, uh, which is why eventually you need to breathe again and get oxygen back into your system so you can use aerobic like cellular respiration. The other type of fermentation is alcoholic fermentation. And this would be done by maybe yeast uh, for the production of alcohol or even to bake bread. And this again is gonna allow glycolysis to continue, but in this case, it takes that pyruvic acid and it breaks it down into ethanol alcohol. And so that alcohol um, is the product of alcoholic fermentation. And again, that NADH is going to be recycled back to NAD positive so glycolysis can continue. So again, in a nutshell, fermentation says no oxygen, no mitochondria, no problem. I'm just going to allow glycolysis to continue to give me those two ATP by recycling back the NAD positive. All right, that's all I have. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time.